Okay, we back again. Uh, this is just 19th of March. We're getting ready to go into a new season, uh, naturally. You know, this coming up on spring. We already then spring forward in time. And, and uh, we just, uh, we're going to do this Job. Uh, Job is really, he, he wants access to God. I got my uh, grand there. She's uh, sitting there sleeping, and but she's hearing. You know, you know, you can be sleeping here, you know, so she's she's hearing what's going on. And uh, this this would be good for her future uh, to understand about suffering. But before we start, like we always do, we start with a quick word of prayer so that God can do what he do. OK, Heavenly Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this. uh quick assignment today that uh, will focus my, my mouth and my, my mind and my heart and decrease as you increase with your word. We thank you for uh, the listener, whoever that may be, is for them. It's definitely for me as we go through Job 24. He wants access with you. You're trying to give us revelation today and uh, so that we understand who you are. And when we understand who you are, we understand who we are. We understand our assignment in the earth. And I thank and I praise you this morning. We thank and we praise you this 19th of March, 2022, as the war keeps raging, as a new variant is about to enter the scene here in the United States and we getting ready to get crazy again. But Lord, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the cross. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable on this day in your sight. Let the focus be on you. In Jesus name. Wow. Holy Spirit, have your way. So let's share our screen because we got to get right to this thing. I, I, I told you I'm full. I'm excited. And every time you can see the peace. Uh, I understand when he said peace beyond this natural understanding. I understand it. I understand it as this, this world get crazier and crazier. So let's share our screen uh, and uh, get to work. Okay, uh, as we begin, we like you say, we always begin in the beginning, God. I, I started that long way back when, back in October. And before that, you know, when we started this joke, now we're in the March 19th, and we're on chapter 24. But say in the beginning, God, before we get to that, I always say in the beginning, God, I would like you get a chance. I, I'm telling you, you better focus. You better understand uh, Genesis 1, 1 through 5. He said it was in the beginning, God. He said it was. God created. He said it was good. Then we go, like I say, this is your experience 2022. It's about God's love and it's God's friendship test. He said, I no longer call you sir, I call you friend. And uh, so we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna understand that before this job is over. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna get introduced to God again. We're gonna get a job, get introduced to him. We have to get introduced to him. I'm already introduced to him. I understand. He said, with all getting, get understanding. He said, wisdom is the principal thing. It's the principal thing. It's the principal thing. We gonna understand that. He said it's not. Look, look, what you, that, this is a, this is what I picked up, and I'm gonna say it again. Is it not the task of the year to discriminate between the wise and unwise words, just as the mouth distinct between desirable and undesirable food? Come on, come on. Then you ask the question there. He said for the year, wise words as the pilot taste food. 
and that's what we're doing now. You're hearing my words. You're trying them. I want you. You're hearing, hearing the spirit of God. Hearing the spirit of God. Because God's word is spirit. And we think it's just a letter. No, it's not a spirit. Jesus said the word. I speak in spirit. In life. So the spirit is life. Okay. So let's let's continue on. And then I go in and talk love suffers long. Because what we're dealing with is the love test. It's the love. God's love. This is friendship test. Okay? God's love friendship test. So love suffers long. And that's why this book is about suffering. The suffering peace of the Holy Spirit. That fruit. It's not fruits. It's fruit. So the book of Job teaches God's love. God's, God's unconditional love. Unconditional. See, we gotta, we gotta put that, we gotta put that in highlights, because yeah? we, we still think uh, God's love like our love, you know, and our love is foolish. It, it, the, the natural love is foolishness. We think kissing and, 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 and that natural. No, no, no. God's love is spiritual love. It's about Him. It's about His focus. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. That's what the cross was about. He said, God. He, he said the book. It teaches God's redeeming spirit. Redemption coming up, in, and we're gonna talk about that. You know, we're coming up into this season of uh, the uh, cross again. You know, you know, people call it Easter. You know, we call it Resurrection Sunday. Resurrection coming up on that time of year now. Uh, God, uh, he, he, you know, here you go. He said it teaches us. Job teaches God's truth. And we always have to say, what is God true? He said, God's word is true. That's what truth is. God's word is truth. And you don't have to believe me, believe Jesus. It teaches you about belief, true belief, okay? Not that, he said, the spirit of God came to convict us uh, of unbelief in what Christ did. We think come to convict us of but it's, he said a sin of unbelief. A sin. A sin of unbelief. See, unbelief is a sin. That's why we do what we do. We, we do what we believe. So if you don't get into the word of God, you don't. Hey, you do what you don't. You, you believe. You got all excuses. We got all these excuses. It teaches us to love God uh, and to love each other we call that neighbor we think we love God and he said you don't, you don't love your neighbor you don't love me because it's in it's not something that, that you can bypass you have to love him okay love God and love your neighbor Jesus so loved the world okay he gave you see that's what we do we love so you give okay Again, it teaches his uncle Jesus' unconditional love and his cross. Okay? That's what the cross is about. You don't have to have a picture. Just have a cross. Just understand the cross. He be crucified. Okay? It teaches Jesus is the light. That's what he said. He said, I'm the light of the world. And he said, you are light. We know the facts of life. I'm not going to keep uh, you. Know, I want you to go. I want to get into your spirit. Do I light the natural, even the natural light? It travels in motion. It moves at 186,000 million miles. 186,000, excuse me, 186,411 miles a second per second. Think of that 186,411 miles per second. There's 86, look at this, 86,400 seconds and one day. Mm. And also this book is, you should, you, should be, you should be trying to pick up on it, teachers, you know, one day. When time comes, when you mature, you will understand and you will know that Jesus was in the Father and that Jesus is in us. And he, he, he's in, he's, he's in you and me, and, I, and I'm in you. He said, you're going to understand that. 
That's what the other side of the cross is. It's born again, born again, and you're one, one with Christ. You're that one that supplies to you too. Okay. That's his prayer. That was his final, that was his final long prayer. You know, that was his prayer to us before he got on that cross. Now, let's move along. Now we we talked about I tell you Psalm, Psalms 119 really give you some flavor on the other side of the cross. But we gotta apply it to this side of the cross. You know, all, all scripture is, 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 is beneficial. It's got a purpose, all scripture. The teaching, instructions, there you go. Reproof, all scripture. So here's the psalmist. He goes, he said, he said, you're, he said, you're, so I like what Jesus, you gotta go, who is your, who is, you know, Jesus' hands has made me. Cunningly fashioned and established me. Okay, it gives me understanding. I love this. That's what it does. He said, your hands, fashion, established, and give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. That's what they knew about the commandments. Jesus said, I give you a new commandment. He told his apostle. <laughs> I love one another as I have loved you. I give you a new commandment. He said, you're no longer my servant. You're my friend. Said, you got to understand that I call people friend. You're my friend. He said, those who reverently and worshipfully uh, fear you will see me and be glad because I have in your word. Jesus, Jesus is the word. And tarry mm. for it. He, he sits there and he waits for it. He, he, he said, he, he, he wait for it. He said, look, look, look. He said, I, I told you, I got to put Jesus everywhere because I'm on this side of the cross. He said, I know, oh Lord. He's he praying, I know, oh Lord, Jesus. But your judgments are right. Man, you're right. And righteous. And, and, and that is faithfulness. You have afflicted me. See, that's what that's what we don't understand. He, 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 he had he, what we call reproof. And, uh, he, he, he called, you know, come on. He chastises us. Okay. Because you gotta learn something. Like last week we learned, he so they may learn his precepts. If you if he didn't he didn't he didn't do that, that's what I tell y'all. Get time you gotta spank that little butt. But you gotta do some other things too. You gotta put it in it. You gotta flick. You gotta tell her what's right and wrong. Let I pray you. He said. He said. Let. He said. I pray you. He praying. I pray you. I pray you, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, your merciful kindness and steadfast love be my for my comfort according to your promise to your servant oh, uh, to your friend your son let you he said he said let you I said let let Jesus tender mercies and loving kindness come to me he don't have to come he's in you see we still praying on that side of the cross, even in churches today. He's in you. Come to me that I may live. You living right now. You're on this side of the cross. You got to put it in perspective. For your law, which is the spirit, is my delight. Yeah, your, your law, your word. Your law is your word, is your spirit. That, that word is spirit. Oh, boy, you got to learn something. We're going we to teach you get to the New Testament. He said, let the proud be put to shame. He said, yeah, here you go. Let the proud be put to shame for they, they dealt perversely with me without call. Without a call. Yeah, they do. He said, but I will meditate on your word, your, 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 your precept. Jesus, I meditate on you, Jesus. He said, let those who reverently and worshipfully fear you turn to me. Man, you gotta turn, you turn Jesus. And those who have known your testimony, you know, your word. Let them turn, let them repent. Let my heart be sound. There you go. What do you mean sound? Sincere, wholehearted, and blameless. You are, you're in Christ. He's already done it. In your statutes. 
in Jesus' statutes, his word, his command, his word, that I may not be put to shame. You ain't going to be put to shame you and Christ on this side of the world. He back there, they said, hey, uh, you know, that's how they pray. Okay. I love this stuff, but put it, put it in perspective. Okay, let's get to our, our main lesson. Now, now, Joe, look at look at Joe. I'm gonna put it there for us, but he continues with it. He wants access to God. He's in a, he, he's tired of them going back and forth with him. He wants access to God. So he's in the second wind. This is chapter 24. He said, why? He said, he continued from last week. He said, why see time did not hit from the Almighty? <laughs> he's all about to put Jesus there because we're on this side of the cross. Time's not hidden from Jesus. And does he, you know, talking about Jesus, not see the seasons for judgment? Yeah, the, 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 the seasons for judgment. Yeah, he sees, he sees everything. Why do those who know, okay, Jesus, see not? If they know him, they see his day for punishment of the wicked. We're going we to circle it. People worry about the wicked. They worry worried about them. They got their time coming. Come on, let him. God, God say He saved wicked for the day of uh, the day of judgment. He got He got He, he let the wicked deal with you, chastise you, but what? Because you, you, you we, we, we sit there and think we all that in the bag of chips. Some remove the landmarks and, uh, and they violently take away the flock and pass, or pastures them. Uh, that take away flocks and pastures them appropriately appropriating land and, and flock openly okay this is wicked they drive away the donkeys of the fatherless and they take the widows ox for a play got a little dead they take it they crowd they crowd the poor and the needy they do off in the road poor and the meek and all of the earth all hide themselves as yes, they do. Like over in Ukraine right now. They hide bombs flying from Putin's army. Behold, as a wild ass in the desert, the poor go forth and do their work. Okay? Behold, uh, and, see, and seeking diligently for prey and food. And the wilderness yield them the bread and for their children and, and the root and harbage. Herbage. They reap each one of his flock, founders in the field. Yeah, Job just talking. He just, he's just having a conversation with God and his friend. Okay. They reap the fathers of the field and that, that's not his own. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they do. They do some stuff, yeah. And they glean the vintage vin vin of the wicked man. Okay. They lie all, all night naked. Okay. They lie all night naked without clothing and, and they have no covering in the cold. They they wept in the showers of the, of the mountains and cling to the rocks of, for want of shelter. Uh, come on, Joe. Come on. We'll, we'll get your point. You want? You just you just talking now. Joe, just talk. Come on. He's trying. He's trying to get his point across here. He's trying. Lord, come on. He said the violent men, uh, who wickedness uh, seems unnoticed. He said he plucked the fatherless infants uh, from the from the breast, and he sells or make them slaves. Said, yeah, we, we, uh, my ancestors were slaves too, and he take the clothing on poor for a pledge. He said, uh, he, he, he do. And he said, so, he so, so, so that the needy go about naked or like clothing. And though hungry, uh, they must carry but not eat from the sheep. Among the olive rolls, the wicked, the, the poor make oil. They tread the fresh fruit and grapes from the presses, but suffer thirst. He said, from, look at that. He said, from among the olive rolls of the wicked, the poor make oil. 
but they he said, but suffer third. Well, out of the populous city, man grown. In the very life of the wounded, cry to help, yeah, for help. Yet God, uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, Joe. Yeah, God, you see it all this stuff. It seemingly regards not the wrong done to them. You want access, God gonna talk to you. And that's what that's what folks say when they when pain talks and, and you, you see all the iniquities in the world, you say, Well, God said all that. He said you regard not. They, there are a lot of folks that don't have God. He said you you ain't even regarding that. Baca and all everybody always got something to say. Okay. These wrongdoers are those who rebel against the light. You correct, you correct. They know not the way nor stay in the past past. The murderers rises with the light. He kills the poor and the needy. And in the night he becomes a thief as a thief. That's why sometimes you just gotta sit down and read it and say, What? But this is pain. You want access. He said the eyes of the also the adulterers wait in the twilight. Now he's getting on some another group of people. He said the eyes of the adulterer. Okay, let, let's look at that. Waits in the twilight saying, No eyes see me. And he put his disguise upon his face. And in the dark, I like see a lot of things happen in the dark. They dig through penet penetrable walls of the houses. By day, they shut themselves up and they do not know the sunlight. See, pain and Job, you got a lot of time, so you got time to reminisce some things that you, you have seen in your life. He say, for midnight is morning, midnight is morning to all of them. For well, they are familiar with the tears. And that's what you do at the deep darkness. Deep darkness. You say swiftly. You say swiftly. Such men pass away on the face of the waters. Their portion is cursed in the earth. No treaders uh, turn into their vineyard. Okay. Drought and heat consumes the snow water, the snow waters. So the show, the place of the dead, to those who have sin. Yeah, we used to say something, you know, say, hey, you're going to bust hell wide open. Those who do these things. The wound, the, the wound shall forget him. Now, yeah. That woman's wound. That he came out and shall forget him, the worm shall. Look at Shall feed swiftly upon him, and he shall be no more remembered, and the unrighteous shall be broken like a tree, which cannot be healed. The evil man, I ain't going again, he lay, he's talking about the evil man, praise upon the barren. The evil man praise upon the barren, the childless one. And there is no good to the widow. Yet God, oh, oh, yet God prolongs the life of the wicked. Mighty by his power. They raise up when they have the spirit of life. That's an age-old question. Why does he prolong the days of the wicked? God, see, we know him as Jesus, gives them security. And they rest on it. And his eyes, and his eyes are upon their ways. God's eyes is on, we got to understand that, God's eyes is on both the good and the wicked. Okay? He said, every how, behold, the good and the evil. Because some of the good have evil ways. 
That's what we call flesh. Hmm. They are exalted for a little while and then they are gone and brought low. They are taken out of all others are cut off. That's the top of the years of rain. You better be, we better understand that. Our life is like a breath. It comes and goes. And if this is not so, who will prove me a liar and make my speech worthless? Look, look at what this man said. He said, and if this is not so, who will prove me a liar and make my speech worthless? He ends it. Job some. But I wanna I want you to really I want to repeat this. He said, they are exalted for a little while. They exalted for a little while and then they are gone. They brought low and they taken, they cut off. If you know that, if we really know that, that's why he said, why why are you speaking without knowledge? But he, that's true. That's a true state. They're, they're here for a little while. All of us, he's, he, even Jacob said, now let, let, me, let, me, let me commentate for a little bit so we go home. I just want to put a thought on it. So let's stop sharing. Okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for that word. We thank you for Job continually uh, saying some things that are true. Even with a man without knowledge, he he understands, he, or at least he, he's put it in writing and he, he understands. And you said, with all getting, get understanding that the wicked is just here for a little while. <laughs> We're here just for a little while. J Jacob said, uh, you know, my life was, you know, he talked talk to the Pharaoh that his life was, uh, you know, but a few years and full, full, full of pain. And we know some of your Jacob life, he was kind of, he was, he would be betrayed as a well wicked person. Made some of the things he did to his brother Esau and to his father. But, you know, to you, you know, you use this man. He's, he was righteous in your sight. We all, you know, you, you know who's yours. And we thank and we praise you. And we lift you up. We magnify your holy name. We glorify you because you're God. You said, you said Jeremiah, can, 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 can the clay tell a potter how to make them? <laughs> you, you just, those, those little simple truths. Can, can you tell? You know, he said, I am being God. Hey, you're you going you gonna to deal with Job in that same, same way. So, Father, I thank and I praise you now, this morning on the, this, this 19th day of March, to, uh, almost the first day of spring. And we, uh, at least in the earth, you already know that spring is already here. You already know, you know, we, we, we do this stuff. And he said, he said, he told Noah that, you know, harvest and, and, and winter will continue. You know, as long as that rainbow is a, is your, was your guarantee that harvest is. Uh, some of the seasons will continue forever until you come back. And then you're you going to deal with us. So, Father, thank you. And we praise you. And we honor you. We lift you up. And we magnify your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. See, the, the, these are true statements. You know, you talk to people every day. And you, 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 you discern, because he gives you that discernment. The sermon is really insight into God's word and, and people. We get so we get to get, get so, so upset with people, and and God came to earth for people. Jesus understand people. You understand? You got the flesh and the spirit. Uh, and, you know, if they walking in the flesh, they doing those fleshly things. All you got to do is read Galatians and see where they at. People, people that walk in the flesh thinking they doing something that's good. You got to understand because I was in a conversation with a young lady, and she was telling me this stuff. You know, she. You know, living they living together, and then you know she say, "Well, you know, I'm happy." No, I say, "No, you're not." Yeah, you, you, you ain't living there. Yeah, you, you, you know, you, you got a person down here and another down. And no, no, you're not. 
they stand out all night shaking it like it's hot. And, and then they say, well, I'm happy. No, you're not. You hear you live with somebody, you still ain't happy because you go out there with somebody else. You know, I don't want no drama. Okay. Yeah, that's what the rebellion is. They get it, it fools the mind to think. You whether you like it or not, you do some good things, but you're in that category of wickedness that Job talked about. Your time is only a short period of time. Who y'all going through? You know, Jacob lived to be what 128 years old. Some of the things he did was weak, but he understood. He at least he repented. You know, God put some pressure on you, so you'll give you a chance to repent. That's the whole reason. He said, he, God is long-suffering when it comes to you. You know, he's trying to get you to turn. Repentance means turn from. Turn to God, from, and then you leave your wicked ways behind us. And I, same here. The closer you get to God, I, yeah, I still do some things. And, not, and people point the finger to somebody else. They say, yeah, come on. It's coming right back at you. He said, and Jesus said, take that moat out of your eye. The Pharisees thought that, you know, they had it all together. They was they plotting to kill Jesus. But this is what we do. We think we okay. And until we understand that God is God, in the beginning, God, he sees everything. He knows that he's in a both house. He are even good. But we call ourselves, when he got right, he said, uncompromising. Some of us are still compromising. Sometimes I'm still compromising. Like, I, I, I love David because David said, I've sinned. When I sin, I don't sin against that. I sin against God and God only. Okay? I don't sin against that prayer. I sin against God. Somebody said, well, I, yeah, okay, then you still, you're still in that same category. When you think you 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 the made it, you 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 in dangerous ground. You are like God told Joe, told the devil. He said, "Have you considered my servant Joe? He's perfect." And people would take that perfect thing, and he he didn't do nothing nothing wrong. Okay, he's perfect. He's righteous. And they will say, yeah, I can sit him, but take the head to go around my head, make him curse him to your face. You know how he ain't perfect. You got heads around him. You gave him all the money in the world. You gave him all the riches. You right, right. He, 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 you got him all the riches. He ain't got nothing to do with it. He, he said, just smile at him. And then God said, okay. He got so he said to come and I said bone bone against flesh. He said don't you don't you don't kill you can't kill him. can't kill him. and that's what Job now you see Job he's chapter twenty four you see what's happening with pain you are in pain because God trying to get you to understand who he is you got all these we got all these things well, uh, he trying to he trying to get you to turn. Flesh is nothing. You're going to get a new body. And we think we dancing and, and oh, Lord, we love you, Lord. And I live my whole. Yeah, and then you're going back saying, I don't like somebody. He's trying, he's trying to get you. He's trying to get you to turn. Yeah, he is. Are you already born again? Yep. So you're already there. But your body, your flesh is still doing the things that you should not be doing. Same here with me. Saying some of the things, opening mouth. Remember, Saint Tony said, "Lord said, hey, watch what you say." And then I say, "Okay, I do it for a minute. Then I go back and say it again." You know, I say, "Oh my God, I got, I got to watch this mouth." Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. And see, the fruit you going you gonna, you gonna do those fruit, the fruit of the mouth, whether good or evil, fruit. Fruit. You better understand that. You better understand Proverbs 18. I think it's 21, 20, 21. You gonna you gonna eat. Okay, the mouth. See these words, these words. That's what this this young this young lady by my grand, you know, she can't talk yet, but she will start talking and her fruit of her mouth, whether good or bad. 
Okay. So if you learn, she learned the bad stuff, she's going to be eating the fruit of that bad stuff. We And we all do it. You say train them while they're young. You know, when they get older, they say, when they're older, they won't do it. Yes, they will. They will. You don't understand what he's saying. You're going to return back to what you know. But if the foundation is is already is messed up, you're going to run. You ain't, you ain't doing that. But returning back to that same. That's why mothers and fathers, they put them in, in, in the church when they're young. And then they go out like the prodigal son. You know, give me my portion. I'm going out and drop it like it's hot. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to live right and live and spend everything. It's me, it's self. Okay? That's what's going on. It's about self. Self. Jesus said, unless you die to self, you cannot even be my disciple. And we have people that's trying to be the disciple. Jesus have not even died to self. Yeah, he said, well, what is self? Anything that's not of Christ. Anything that flesh is self. You can go to Galatians 5, verse 19 through 21. You will see uh, the perfect picture of self. That's what the Holy Ghost, when I first got born again, he read it to me. He said it in my ear. This is flesh and this is the spirit. The flesh had a lot, lot more stuff in it than the spirit. Spirit was, the spirit, he said, this is the fruit of the spirit. This is love, joy, peace. Faith, long suffering, meekness, gentleness, and goodness, and self control. See, that's he said. You, you, that's eternal. That's going. That's that. That that, that is who I am. That's what Spirit said. But the other stuff is 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 really that's what you that flesh is that 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 flesh man that mindset. And you see it. You, you see more. And then you when when he, when he first read that to me, I saw more of that. Then I saw the other side, the spirit man. I'm born again. Feel with the Holy Ghost. Oh, come on, Holy Ghost. You, you saying I'm here, but I'm here. He said, This is where you're getting to. This is what the chastisement is gonna get you here. This is where the suffering piece, that long suffering, is getting you here. Peter and all of them had to go through it. Paul. That other, they were that other piece. They were religious folk. Are that you know, they did? They still doing that today. Well, we think we not. And the pastor can't even speak to you. Uh, uh, the the prophets and the teachers, they think they something they the flesh. <laughs> Broad, hey Corinthians, all you gotta do go to Corinthians twice. Tell you, spirit of God, spirit you get. You think the gift. The gift is the spirit. It's his gift. That's him. But he's trying to, with the gift to produce fruit. I'm a gifted teacher. It's trying to get me the fruit. Trying to get me to follow what I teach. Follow Jesus. He said, Peter, do you love me? Follow me. Feed my sheep. When he didn't do that, get what? He was walking in the flag. But he still was a spiritual man. Okay? Paul had to chastise him to his feet. And Paul was chastised by Barnabas. Okay? On John Mark. So, you know, that, that hardness, you know, we, we, we got to understand those that dichotomies. They got to understand those, those two, two people, those two competing Spirit, flesh and spirit, self and spirit, self, spirit, self, God, self, God. Oh, Lord, that wretched man of mine, who will deliver me from this pool? Oh, my God. So he said, with my mind, he said, transform mine. I will walk in the spirit. I will serve God. With my flesh, I'm going to say uh, that piece, yeah, 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 you won't have, it won't let me no good, no good things, no good things. So I leave that alone. I didn't preach enough today. Uh, see, that's what now. Then I Job peace, he's chapter twenty four. Next week, chapter twenty five. Job, Job is he's saying, he's saying, he's saying some stuff. He told some good stuff, and then, but he, that's his mind. That's his mind. 
And that's the age old question. Why God allowed me? He said, because you were one day like that. He had, to, he had to give you some time. You were that wicked man. The wicked man you described. That's the flesh man. That's when you're walking in the flesh. Still see, I still see him. You know, people preach it. Still walk, they walking in the flesh. They get there. That's why a young preacher, you got to listen to your, your counsel or the elders. And then all they're doing, they're teaching their young flock, these young preachers. And that's why you got to say the elders. You know, they, they walking, they making babies, you know, going to pastors, married, having babies out of, with the congregation. He said all this stuff. Then they go back, oh, you done messed that person up. He messed it up. If I don't act right, I mess this young one up. I mess my grand up. She not taught right. You mess them up. Fathers and mothers, you mess them up. And the amount of time still, they messed up. Now they got, they got, they got God has to redo what you didn't, you didn't mess up. They don't come with a manual. That's why he say, if you get them in the church, get, uh, and these old folks, that's why they sitting in here. They sitting up there messed up. And then they training another generation of messed up. They sitting up there looking like harlots. So how are you going to uh, let, let the young girl, they come in, they're going to be little like harlots. They don't look like harlots. When you got a pastor that's 70, 80 years old, they looking like harlots. So how you expect the congregation to look like? Jesus, he already rebuked you. It's generational break. And they said generational curse. You know, break the generational curse. You got, you're born again. That breaks the generational curse. You're born again. Get Jesus. Now, Father, I thank you. I thank you for that, that commentary. And I'm getting ready to get off this, get off this too, and the YouTube. And, and who uh, I don't know who going to see this stuff, but uh, you, you know. You know who you want to target this chapter too. And uh, so let, let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart be accepted on your sight, which it is because it's you. It's, it's your word. It's your word. It's not my word. It's in, it's in a book that we don't read. At least I read it. Uh, they don't read. So many of us don't read. I read your word. I meditate on it. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm preaching. I'm getting ready to get into Isaiah. You know, he so told my wife about Isaiah. He said, go in the book, that powerful book. That's what we call the fifth gospel. So when she said it to me, she didn't have to say it to me. So they said to me, God is saying to me, get in the book, Isaiah. So I'm have to, after, after we do Job, I'm going into Isaiah. That was, that was my hand too. She's the prophetess of the house. And when she said that, well, you know, the Lord told me Isaiah. I said, well, give me a synopsis of what Isaiah is about. I said, uh-oh, uh-oh, he wants me to get in Isaiah. That's a, that's a powerful book. It's more prophecy in Isaiah than any other any any other book. That's why the major prophets, he was the number one. Major prophets. We had Daniel and all the rest of us. You know, these are these are these are the major. You know, you had a high, you know, Jeremiah and Daniel, all of these made, but then it's Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah is the is this, so I'm gonna get into that. Because Isaiah got almost what 66 chapters, 66 books, and we're we gonna get into Isaiah. So Job after Job, my assignment is Isaiah. So we, that's that's another two or three years. Yeah, that, that's about a year. Sixty-six. Uh, uh, yeah, it's at least a year and a half. We take one book, lot of online precept on precept. We gonna get into Isaiah. That's another. Okay. God bless you. God keep you. God cause His face to shine on you. I'm giving you my instructions. Lord, I thank you. You know, I'm smiling. I can't wait the next week. Twenty-five. I can't wait. I just can't wait. This is this is good stuff. So, God bless you. Sleep on, sleep on, Libby. You, your time is coming. Your time is coming. Maybe this is take God has let out me to do this so for you, so you understand who your grand is. When I'm off the scene, you can play these back. You can be on YouTube and you can play them and say that was granddad. That that was granddad. Look, that was me sleeping in the back. Look at me. Look at me. I'm just taking it in. Oh my God. Okay, have a have a good one. See you next week. God bless you.